I'm Pastor John Wasserman. We're right next to our Tambu Airport if you ever want to visit us. But otherwise, you can follow us here on social media. But I've just been sharing a little bit about Saved by Grace. And uh, so many Christians are just on this treadmill of works trying to earn, 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 earn. And yes, we need to come to church. Yes, we must read the Bibles. Yes, we must pray. Yes, we must give. But the way it's so taught, or we have caught it that way, is that we do all those things to try and be right with God. Listen, if you've accepted Jesus as your Savior, you cannot be more right with God than that. Because He's made you the righteousness of God in Christ. You know, so you can't be more right than right with God by accepting Jesus as your Savior. And Paul tells us this in this book of Romans. What an incredible book, my favorite in the Bible. Well, next to Hebrews. But uh, <clears throat> they're all awesome. But Paul tells us that, that if, we, we, if we work for something, then it becomes a wage and then it ceases to be a gift. So you can't earn salvation. You either work for it or you accept it as a gift. You know, it's a little bit of a difference between the Christmas tree and the apple tree. You know, the apple tree you have to cultivate and the fruit that's grown there is as a result of works, really. Christmas tree is someone took the gifts and put it on the tree. And so the comparison that I want to bring you is what Paul spoke about in Romans chapter 5. He spoke about Adam and he spoke about Jesus. Jesus is the second Adam. Uh, Adam is the first man and Jesus the last man of that particular line of men in whom sin was present. And Jesus then is the second Adam, the, the, last, or the last man or the first man of the new generation is those in whom sin does not rule and reign. And that's who we are and that's where we are. And so, it, so the comparisons are Adam ate of something that he was not supposed to eat. Actually, really at the end of the day, it was his disobedience. And God said, on the day you eat of it, you shall surely die. He didn't start to physically die immediately, but he died spiritually, then eventually physically. Jesus came along, and in, not in a garden, but in a wilderness. He obeyed God. He, he successfully overcame the same temptations that Adam did, and he lived. And so he becomes the life-giving spirit for us to live. And not in a garden, in a wilderness. Jesus overcame the, the devil. And so, so Adam is a picture of what our lives were like before Jesus. Jesus is the picture of what our lives are like since we accepted Jesus. And Jesus, the Bible tells us, has the power of an indestructible life in the book of Hebrews. So which means that in Adam, we are natural, we are, we are in death. But in Christ, we are not natural, we are supernatural. And we are not in death, we've passed from death to life. We live forevermore. I'm so grateful that you've been watching this particular series and really would not like you to miss out on anything. So here it goes, please like us on our Facebook page. And then follow us on Twitter and SoundCloud. Connect with us on LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bless you. Thank you for watching.